To create a diagonal wipe transition, we are gonna go into layer, new, solid, and then you can select a color of your choice. Then we'll press okay, press okay, and we'll go to the transition point. So that is where the first clip ends and the second clip starts. Then we are just going to go into that solid that we just created, go into transform, select anchor point. Now this is the anchor point here. We want to move that all the way down to the bottom left corner. So we are just going to drag that over to the left. So make sure that it's sitting in the corner and that will move everything with it. But if we now go into anchor point and we pull these numbers across, we essentially want to try and get this solid back into that same position that it was. There we go. Now from here, once you've centered that back up again, we're just going to increase the scale a tad. Now we'll go four frames to the left. And we're just going to pull the rotation to a negative number. So keep going until it disappears off screen, which is negative 91 in my example. Create a new keyframe using the stopwatch icon. Then we'll go to that center point and go another four frames to the right. Now we're going to pull that to a positive number and make sure that disappears off screen. So in my example, that is 91 again. So plus 91. So we're going from negative 91, which is here, all the way down to plus 91. Now, when we play this back, you can see there are some imperfections. We can see the edge of this video. So we're just going to go into scale, unlink the scale there, and we're just going to increase this second number. So increase that until you can no longer see the background appearing through. Play this back and you can see we're not quite there. There's another imperfection that we need to clean up. So just keep pulling that number on the scale up and you can see that's not affecting it. So we need to change this first number. There we go. You can see we're there, but that might be a tad fast. So we're just going to move the left keyframe over three frames and we'll move the right keyframe over three frames as well. And now when we play this back, you can see that looks a lot better. Now it's worth noting with this transition that the two clips should transition underneath this full screen. So when the solid is covering the whole screen, that's when the clip changes. But if you wanted to, you could turn off those video clips, export this as a transparent video. So export this with your alpha channel activated, and that will be a transition created inside of Adobe After Effects.